circular slider. Hi everybody! I just finished animating one scene, the number 26 in fact, and we are really close to end the short film, the animation. We are at 7 scenes to have the whole movie animated, so really close to have everything ready. And yeah, so happy! Before I disassemble everything to set up the new scene, let me show you the puppet, Matilda, because in the last scene she was under the table, so... playing with the little puppy. Next scene to prepare is the most complicated in the whole short film in terms of camera movement. We are going to make a circular camera movement around this table and at the same time Matilda will walk around the table so puppet and camera must be synchronized. It will be really tricky, so I have to invent and mount something specific for this scene. And yeah, it has to work and I have less than one day to build everything. The idea will be to take some parts from my crane. Now it's disassembled, but this is a crane and I will take some parts, especially the taxis. So I have to remove all that and yeah, if you have a closer look here those gears that move this this rack this is a thing
main part of the artifact is ready. Looks like this. And moves this way and looks. So next part is to attach the rack here. As the camera is moving that way, the winder is starting to appear in the scene. So I will change the side of the winder to this side, that it's out of the screen, and set the puppet terrain in the same exact position. So it's a careful moment. Yes, and finished! 320 frames, it was two days animating, it was very very hard to animate this scene because of the camera movement, the puppet and the light, and the relationship between the three factors uh, creates different shadows, so it was really hard to coordinate both. The device worked perfect, you can move one side and another and it memorizes exactly the position so it's great at the end i'm so happy about two decisions one of them is using a rig like this winder to set up the the animation because that way you can control the up and down movement of a walk so precisely so this is su super convenient for a shot like this one especially because matilda had to jump onto the axis that holds the camera in more than one time so that way I can hold the puppet in the air and still recreate the, the movement like she's walking but she's with the two legs like holding in the air so yeah that was so helpful and the other thing is a fake hand that way I could animate the puppet without affecting the hand that holds the light and that projects the shadow so if 
finally the 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 shadow is more steady that way i can control separately every element so i have more precision at the end animation is super complicated so finding the right tools or the right ideas to make you the work easier is super important because you save time animating you avoid mistakes and finally you make a better animation so yeah it's better to spend a little time setting up everything and making some tests about how the, the scene will work so yeah take time get the right tools and keep animating